Okay, the first thing I want to talk about just a little bit is my grip. Uh, I think I assume everybody knows how to, how to hold a drumstick that works for them. Um, I'm just telling you about what works best for me. This isn't the right way or the wrong way. This is just the way I do it. I'm not, I wasn't formally taught, but this, what's, this is what's worked for me. Um, I use what is called a, a German grip, where the top of my hand is basically parallel with the floor. Um, and then sometimes my right hand turns over a little bit where my thumb comes up like this. See where the thumb is basically going up. When I go around the toms, my hand, my right hand turns over a little bit sometimes. But for the most part, I play with a very uh, kind of a proper German grip, it's called. This is called Swiss, and this is German, and I use the German type. This is what works best for me. Okay, paradiddles. Uh, there's, there's, I think there's seven main rudiments. Um, and th they're all important. There's double stroke rolls, flams, single stroke rolls, and some other ones. Um, but to me, the paradiddle is the most important. Uh, it's the combination of a double stroke and a single stroke. And that's why it's so useful in uh, many, many different ways. Um, I'll show you just real quickly what a paradiddle is for anybody who might not know what it is, but I think most people do. And there's three types that I use, the single paradiddle, double paradiddle, and triple paradiddle. Single paradiddle is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Double paradiddle is right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. And of course, the triple paradiddle is right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Now, the reason why these are so great and what, what I like to do is get an exercise that utilizes all three of those. And it's good to do with a click track or keep a hi-hat going for time. And I'll show you what I do. I do singles, doubles, and triples. And then back down. It goes like this. That's a really great exercise, and if you do it fast or slow, just always have a click track, and it really helps to develop the hands. Um, there's also another exercise that I use uh, that utilizes just a single paradiddle and a double paradiddle, and that is good because it makes you alternate um, to the left hand, and with time, it goes like this. One, two, three. And then you're back to the right hand. The third exercise that I like to use with paradiddles is based around a triplet, which is a double paradiddle, and then I kind of made up this little sticking. Uh, exercise that works with a double paradiddle in a triplet format. And it consists of nine strokes. And this is, this is the way it goes. It's right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. And then it starts over, but it begins with the left hand. Uh, same way. Left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Now, you combine that with a double paradiddle, and it works in a triplet feel. And uh, here's, the way, here's the way it would work. Two, three, four. That works great on a drum set. And I'll be demonstrating that in just a second. All right, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with uh, the first exercise I show you, and I'm going to play it around the drum set. Let me take this practice pad off here and uh, show you how it works. And I'm going to accent the beginning of each paradiddle, single, double, and triple, with a tom-tom. And you can see how it kind of works. 
uh, around the kit. It goes like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's the first exercise. Um, there's many variations you could do on that, but that's just a basic one to use with that. Here's the second example. I'm going to accent the beginning of each paradiddle on the toms, and it's the single paradiddle and the double paradiddle. And this is how that all works. One, two, one, two, three. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but see how it alternates. If you keep time with the hi-hat, it makes you alternate. It makes you start one with the right hand, one with the left hand. Uh, that's a great exercise. And of course, there's many more ways you can use it around the drums, but that's a good place to start. Now, the third example, I'm going to get a little flashier with. And uh, it's a good, good exercise to use if you get past just where you could do it with just your hands, and then you start being able to use your feet along with the example. This is what it would sound like. I'm going to crash on the beginning of each paradiddle. And um, this is the example with a with, that's a triplet. It's a double paradiddle with that little permutation, the, the little exercise that I made up. And that's how this would go. One, two, one, two. That's the paradiddles.